somebody, please, out there. You got to humble the Oklahoma City Thunder. I don't know who it is. Um, and, and I don't know why this team is exactly bothering me so much. But, you know, I cannot wait till the playoff happens to see what this team really does, bro. Because they got a lot of hype right now. And they're pretty good. They are a good team. They're sitting the top seed in the West right now. Um, number one, possibly. I still think it's number one right now. One, two. One or two. Um, either way it goes. They're a top seed in the West. But... I'm, I'm really thinking it's this pretty ass brand of basketball that I dislike with the Oklahoma City Thunder. And maybe it's just me. And, and again, I told you I'm stepping out of character, but I think it's just a pretty brand of basketball that I dislike. Like what happened to the game that I love? What happened to the, the gulliness in the in the basketball game? What happened to guys being gritty? What guy what happened to guys being physical and tough in the basketball game, even in a regular season, down uh especially in the playoff stretch? Like, what happened to these things? It's not there as, as much as I'm used to seeing it. But I think above all, the thing that's bothering me the most about the Oklahoma City Thunder is the fact that ultimately the stars are too damn young to be this egotistic and accomplish nothing in the NBA. That's what bothers me the most. It's like, it's different if, you know, y'all was really killing it. You've been to the playoffs. So you maybe won a couple championships. Then you get to talk that trash. You get to talk to talk because you walk the walk. You get what I'm saying? But the Thunder ain't did nothing. They ain't even been to the playoffs and had any sort of success in the playoffs over the past few years. And I think it starts too. You know, I, I'm, I definitely don't want to attack guys, but it got to be said, bro. You know, I, I got to get this off my chest, bro. I, I give y'all a platform to get stuff off y'all chest. I'll be damned if I don't use my own platform to get it off my chest. I think it's more so uh, Shy Gilgis Alexander, bro. Because, man... I don't know why bro is so damn cocky and to me he gets twitter finger vibes and it's damn near corny bro it's cringy watching him sometimes uh and not necessarily skill because we all know what he does on the court is insane bro has a lot of skill when it comes to the game of basketball no hate whatsoever there but the thing that bothers me and it itches my soul bro is the fact that he'll put up 30 points be quiet all game which which i respect you know, you could be quiet all game, won't say much, whatever, not much of a trash talker on the floor, but put up 30 points and then go and run on Instagram immediately after the game and post a picture of you, post a picture of you, him scoring on you. Like, bro, that's so lame to me. Like, if you're not going to say nothing in person, don't say it on social media. Why? It, it gives Twitter finger vibes. It gives, I'm all talk, but when I see you in person, I'm not going to say nothing. It gives eighth grade, middle school, 2007 um, social media beef to me, bro. And I'm not a fan of that, bro. To me, I just can't stand on that. It's not cool. It's like, damn, bro, if you can't say it in the man's face, you don't need to say it at all. If you can't say it when score is 15 to 15, you don't need to say it when score is 125 to 119. I don't want to hear it at all. So to me, that's, that stuff bothers me, bro. And it just like, trickles down through the whole team because it's just like oh man this 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 team here they remind me of the memphis grizzlies um a couple years ago and like these past few years the memphis grizzlies because to me they've been on the same type of thing very egotistic very egotistic type of young stars um guys have accomplished nothing in the playoffs but yet talk as if they've won four championships and, and it kind of bothers me but I think when the playoffs start this season, we're going to see a huge dramatic turn. And I can't wait for it to start because I don't think them boys are going to have much success when they go into the playoffs, the Oklahoma City Thunder. I doubt the Thunder have a lot of success when they go into the playoffs this year. And I hope that's the case because when you lose in the playoffs and you get sent home early in the playoffs, that stuff builds character. It builds the urgency in terms of how bad do I really want to win in this league? How bad do I really want to win in the playoffs? And how seriously I'm going to perfect my craft because we've seen it with Joel Embiid. We've seen it with Steph Curry. We've seen it with LeBron. We've seen it with Kobe. We've seen it with all the greats and anybody who's accomplished anything in this NBA league. You can do all this stuff in the regular season you want, bro. You know, thrive in a regular season if you want to. Have a great time, bro. You know, um, you know, talk trash, win games. You could be un like 72-10, 72-9 doesn't mean nothing if you don't do anything in the playoffs i'm not gonna be convinced until i see you win on a large stage to me the more you win on a large stage the more the, the more leeway you have to talk crazy to to show those egotistic characteristics and, and things like that and maybe it's just me maybe 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 it's just me maybe i'm feeling some type of way about it and i'll try to adjust but 
I don't have much like it, it bothers me. It bothers me, man. And, and part of that reason of not doing anything in the playoffs is still the same reason I don't trust the Clippers to get anything done because um, the Clippers, they got four or five all stars on that team. And yet they still have never did anything in the playoffs. And every time the playoffs come around and the lights get real bright, they scream, turn them off, turn them off, turn them off. They never, they never get it done. I mean, it's either injuries, guys not performing as well, or it's always something with the Clippers. So to me, you know, I, I think that's that's why I'm not sold on them. And the Oklahoma City Thunder, I'm not sold on them either. Even though they're a top seed in the West, I doubt they have any real playoff success because they don't have experience. Um, and, and those guys are still young and they haven't accomplished anything. I hope for their own sake, they go to the playoffs, get sent home, come back better. Come back more focused. Come back more on a mission. Because right now it just seems all fun and 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 just like it's so lighthearted, man. What happened to the game that I love, bro? I, I don't I it, I don't know, man. It used to be like, bro, playoff push. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's me. Tell me if it's me, actually. But um, you can always call, of course, obviously, if it is me, 219-413-9405. So let me know if it is me. Maybe I'm just tripping out. Um, but I don't know, man. I personally feel like guys used to just compete a lot more in the NBA. There was less nights off when guys were actually playing. And everybody's crying about this 60-game rule when, bro, people played 82 games. And, like, I know it's a different time, but, I mean, MVPs playing 60 games back in a few years back, last decade, even just going back that far, like, that was... Like, oh, he barely played this season. I mean, guys crying about it now? Like, dog, come on, man. 